Hello, and welcome back to Global Facts Journey. Today we dive into the intriguing world of strange and unusual lifestyles. From quirky habits to bizarre choices, some people have embraced a way of life that might leave you scratching your head or chuckling in amusement. So, put on your curious hats and let's explore five of the quirkiest lifestyles that might have you wondering, is this for real or just a sitcom waiting to happen? Today, we will be discussing the top five craziest lifestyles that trigger diseases that lead to Tom Sizemore's death. 1. They targeted him. Sizemore's fame, which he gained from his career in Hollywood, turned into a significant disadvantage during his time in prison. His recognizable face made him an easy target for other inmates who may have seen attacking a celebrity as a way to boost their own status, or simply out of envy or hostility towards his fame. This resulted in Sizemore facing a series of violent confrontations right from the start of his incarceration. In his first week alone, he was forced into 11 separate physical altercations. These incidents were not just minor scuffles, but potentially life-threatening situations, emphasizing the severity of the danger he faced daily. The fact that he reportedly defended himself effectively in these fights suggests that he was able to hold his own, but this didn't alleviate his fear. The constant threat of violence, especially in an environment as unpredictable and volatile as prison, meant that Sizemore was always at risk of a serious or even deadly attack. Amidst this hostile environment, Sizemore found a semblance of safety or support in another inmate. This individual could have provided him with guidance, protection, or simply a sense of camaraderie in a place where Sizemore was otherwise marked as an outsider due to his celebrity status. This relationship would have been crucial for his mental and physical well-being, offering a buffer against the ongoing threats and challenges he faced in prison. 2. He was broke. Sizemore's situation is a classic example of the drastic changes in fortune that can occur in the life of a celebrity. At the height of his success, he didn't have to worry about finances. His wealth allowed him to enjoy an opulent lifestyle, complete with a multi-million dollar home and staff like a personal chef and a maid to cater to his daily needs. This kind of luxury often comes with a sense of invulnerability, where one might not fully consider the financial sustainability of such a lifestyle. However, the tides turned for Sizemore when his acting career hit a rough patch. The lack of new roles meant that the steady flow of income he was accustomed to suddenly stopped. Compounding this issue was his battle with addiction, which not only affected his career prospects but also led to a rapid depletion of his savings. This financial downfall reached a point where maintaining his expensive home was no longer feasible, especially with the added burden of legal fees. Faced with this financial crisis, Sizemore had to make a difficult decision – sell his luxurious home. Typically, in such situations, the prudent course of action would be to downsize, perhaps opting for a smaller, more affordable residence using whatever funds were left from the sale of the house. This would be a way to live within the new means and possibly stabilize his financial situation. However, Sizemore chose a different path. Instead of downsizing, he approached another famous actor for a loan. This move was quite audacious, indicating his reluctance or inability to significantly adjust his lifestyle to his new financial reality. Asking for a loan rather than downseizing could be seen as an attempt to cling to a certain standard of living or a denial of the full extent of his financial woes. It's a decision that highlights the challenges some people face in adapting to a sudden change in fortune, especially after being accustomed to a life of luxury. 3. He asked for money. Tom Sizemore's request for a loan from Jack Nicholson highlights a significant moment in his life, marked by a drastic fall from his previous high standing in Hollywood. The choice of Nicholson as the person to ask for financial help is quite telling. Nicholson, renowned for his roles as unconventional, often tough characters, might have seemed to Sizemore as someone who could understand his situation, given their similar on-screen personas. Sizemore's decision to ask for a staggering $10 million also reflects a certain level of desperation or perhaps a lack of realization of the severity of his financial troubles. Nicholson's refusal to lend such a large sum isn't surprising. Lending money, especially an amount as substantial as $10 million, involves considerable risk and reflects a significant financial commitment. This denial left Sizemore in a precarious position, exacerbating his already difficult circumstances. 
The consequence of Nicholson's refusal was profound for Sizemore. He found himself without a home, resorting to living in his car. This period represents a stark and dramatic contrast to his earlier lifestyle, where he enjoyed the luxuries of a multi-million dollar home and a staff. The transition from a life of affluence to one where he struggled for basic necessities like shelter illustrates the volatility and unpredictability of life, especially in the entertainment industry. Eventually, Sizemore did manage to find some form of shelter, a place that was not a home in the traditional sense but at least provided him with basic protection. This phase of living somewhere with just a roof over his head, though a step up from living in his car, still signifies a significant downgrade from his previous living conditions. Sizemore's journey from fame and wealth to financial hardship and instability serves as a poignant example of how quickly fortunes can change, particularly in the world of celebrities where fame and success are often fleeting. For he had no water or electricity. Sizemore's move to the guesthouse in Silmar represented a pivotal moment in his life, marking a drastic shift from his former lifestyle. This guesthouse, located in a remote woodland area, was a far cry from the luxury and comfort he was accustomed to. It lacked essential amenities like running water and electricity, making it more akin to a derelict or abandoned building than a home. The harshness of these living conditions forced Sizemore to become resourceful. He managed to establish a rudimentary electrical connection by tapping into a nearby power line and also found a way to divert some water to the property. These actions, born out of necessity, reflect a significant change from his previous life, where such basic needs were easily met without a second thought. Living in this state of near squalor was a profound reality check for Sizemore. It represented a physical and symbolic departure from his past, a stark reminder of how far he had fallen from his days of fame and fortune. This environment, with its lack of basic comforts, served as a catalyst for introspection. It forced Sizemore to confront the realities of his situation, to acknowledge the impact of his choices and actions on his current state of affairs. This period of his life was likely a humbling experience, one that perhaps made him re-evaluate his priorities, decisions and the direction of his life. Such a dramatic change in living conditions can be a powerful motivator for self-reflection and reassessment, leading to a deeper understanding of oneself and one's place in the world. For Sizemore, living in the guesthouse in Silmar, under such primitive conditions, was likely a turning point, prompting him to take a hard look at his life and consider the path forward. 5. He was detoxing. Sizemore's battle with addiction severely impacted his ability to retain memories, particularly during a tumultuous period of his life when he was grappling with withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal can be an all-consuming experience, both physically and mentally, often overshadowing other aspects of a person's life. For Sizemore, the intense focus required to deal with withdrawal meant that many events during this time became a blur, leaving him with scant recollection of specific details. His participation in Sober House, a reality show designed to document and assist with the recovery process, marked a turning point in his journey towards sobriety. Unlike the earlier phase where his memories were hazy during Sober House, he was more mentally present and aware of his actions and surroundings. This heightened awareness was crucial for his recovery as it allowed him to engage more consciously with the rehabilitation process. An unintended yet valuable aspect of his journey being documented on a reality TV show was the existence of a video record of his experiences. These recordings served as a tangible reflection of his struggles and progress. For someone dealing with memory issues due to substance abuse, having the ability to watch oneself during different stages of recovery can be incredibly impactful. The act of watching these videos likely provided Sizemore with a unique perspective on his own journey. It enabled him to objectively observe his behavior and the impact of his addiction from an outside viewpoint. This could have been a sobering experience, confronting him with the harsh realities of his addiction and at the same time showing him the positive strides he was making in his recovery. Moreover, these recordings served as a powerful motivational tool. They acted as a reminder of the challenges he had overcome, reinforcing the importance of sobriety in his life. For someone in recovery, especially in the public eye, having a visual reminder of one's lowest points can be a potent deterrent against relapse. 
In Sizemore's case, watching himself on these videos likely played a significant role in his ongoing commitment to stay sober, providing him with a constant reminder of why he chose the path of recovery and the progress he had made along the way. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and be sure to turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any videos just like this one. If you enjoyed this video, you're sure to enjoy our next video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.